guys, I'm back at another, another video, but now this time you can see my face. Yay. I'm sorry you have to see my face, it's not the prettiest. But as you can see, I am wearing a nice pretty wig that I've customized. This is a synthetic lace front wig that I got from Amazon. It was only like a $30 to $40 wig, it was in between there, and it's not super long it is pretty it's pretty good it's decent quality i don't have a lot of fallout with the hairs it doesn't get super tangly though it, like most things it does i say i say it doesn't get super tangly as i tangle it um but it's it's really nice good lace front wig i think it's pretty decent um and i this video was just kind of show you how i rooted it as you can it wasn't rooted like this when I first got it, it was just this kind of nice pastel pink, and I really liked it. And after several months of owning it and just kind of playing around with it and just learning more about wigs, I wanted to root it. But I wanted to think, I wanted a different method to do it because I have rooted before with the Sharpie method. And though it roots it, it comes off really easy on the scalp and on the skin, and I didn't like it. It If you use black, it turns into kind of a purpley color. It gets weird, and I didn't want to do that. Um, so I thought, well, using out because it's synthetic, you, you can use writ dye. Sometimes that helps, but that's hard to get an ombre root with that. And you can use powders, but it's not the same. I wanted the all throughout kind of root. And then I thought, well, what about Copic markers? Because Copic markers are an alcohol-based marker. And just because they work so much differently than, because they're blendable, I thought, well, maybe that'll work. So I kind of looked online. Some people have done this with their rooting with Copic markers. So I was like, okay, so this is possible. I So I tried it and it worked in as you can see, it worked out pretty well. I do have some complaints about certain things, and I probably will alter this wig some more. But, yeah. If you want to see how I kind of just rooted this pretty, pretty wig, maybe even more and more pretty, give it more dimension, yeah, just stick around and watch and, and watch how I did this wig. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is section out the hair. Now I do one big section and then I go back and kind of do smaller sections afterwards. It's important to have these smaller sections so that way when you go in with the Copic mark, it will saturate every single fiber. <laughs> Okay, so I will be using Copic markers in order to do this. The Copic marker I'm using is RV25 uh, or Dog Rose Flower, and I'm using various ink in the same color. After getting the part of the root that I want, I'm going to go in with some rubbing alcohol. Once you have saturated the area with the rubbing alcohol, I kind of went back and then took the Q-tip and blended it out so that way it looked a little bit more natural.
process is just that, uh, putting the Copic marker on there and then blending it out with the rubbing alcohol and Q-tip. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Loving it. Loving it. Let's go. Let's see this. Is, ooh, can't zoom in that way. Zoom in this way. So I just want to share some final thoughts about this wig. I am pretty happy with it. The 
marker is not coming off as much as Sharpie would. Using the Copics is definitely a better alternative than using the Sharpie method. One thing I am I'm kind of debating is kind of going back and doing the root a little bit longer. Um, especially around here just because it just looks like there's not enough but like in the back and when you kind of sift through it, it looks really pretty and nice with all those pretty colors so I'm thinking about going a little bit longer with the root with the rooting process but I'm also definitely with this wig I think I'm also going to pluck the hairline a little bit it is way too thick it definitely looks really synthetic and fake I mean it is a th synthetic wig and it just does look fake, but it does look a little bit more real. It has a little bit more dimension now. I am also thinking about getting some clips and putting them in the back. Like, look at this. Look at this. Ah. Oh. It does, is adjustable, so I can make it tighter kind of back. But I do want to put a little clip there so I can just kind of go in the back. Don't have to worry about it. There is a uh, two, like a little comb, two little combs on the side and one on top. I can't use them one on top because of the wig cap I'm using. Um, I do, I have a black netted one which works really well so I can make sure it's there all day and I just have to find it and when I find it that's what I'll use if I wear this as like kind of an all-day thing or like if I'm going to something and I'm like oh I just want I want a different color hair today I want a different pink or if I'm just doing a photo thing and I'm just worried about it this constantly shifting then I'm probably gonna do that I'm probably gonna try to find combs for the back, I am definitely going to pluck the hairline. I might do a video on doing those. Just kind of like the evolution of this pretty wig. This is just a wig I got from Amazon. Um, it was like $40. It's not super long. To me, this is not super long. My hair is almost to my knees. So my perception of long is a little bit different from others. I feel, I feel pretty in it. I like it. It doesn't feel too uncomfortable. I do need to work on how I pin my hair back because, again, my hair is really long. So I pin it. I had to pin it a certain way. I had to braid and then pin. And I think I need to, because this side is perfectly fine. It does feel a little bit bulky when I touch it, but it doesn't look too bulky. This side looks even bulkier. So I got to work on this side. And if I were to wear this all day, I'm definitely going to have to glue it down because that, that is gapping. You like my hair? But yeah, I like this wig. I love what I, how I did it. I might bring the root a little bit down further. If you guys think I should, definitely let me know. And I will probably show that. If you want to see more progress photos and all that kind of stuff, you want to see me wear it more, you know, feel free to check out my Instagram. I like posting pretty photos of myself when I feel pretty, which is usually never, but occasionally I feel pretty and I had to post some photos, especially with like when you had these lashes, like, hmm. But anyway, thank you for watching this kind of like little how I rooted the wig, how it turned out and all that kind of stuff. And please share your thoughts on how you think of it. If you think it looks like trash, let me know and tell me why you think it looks like trash. Not, you know, if you think it's like, oh, it looks cheap. Okay. Fair enough. It's like too shiny. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, give me some constructive criticism down in the comments i want i want i want because crit i want some methods i can use that can really are helpful and i feel like the method i used was really great i just have i just want to bring down the rooting a little bit more throughout the wig maybe instead of in it ending on the top layer up here maybe ending it a little bit more down here I'm not too sure, maybe an in-between, maybe just in certain areas, because, like, it's it's pretty. Please, please, please subscribe. I work hard. I did, I did 45 minutes of makeup just to, like, film a short part and put on a, put on a wig and film a short part. Like, my face is beat. Please. And my eyebrows are pink. Please. Good angle, though. Mm-hmm. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>